something, something long, uh, broom handle, or even a long red band, something you can move around with. And use the band too, long band. Pull it apart, hold it, act like this is out. Do you need anything? No, you don't need anything. Just do the motion, but it does help shoulders. Here you put the feeling of breaking it in half, it's just activating your arm better. Okay. We're gonna go on our back, it's not even our back, it's morning. Yeah, we're gonna need our dowel. Go on your back. Waiting, it sounds like a couple other people are coming. Hold it down, lift your legs up. Lift your legs up. Over your head now, come up, touch your toes. Go on your back. When your back of your hand touch the ground, leg goes down, legs come back up, and do it again. Go two. Three. Four. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Legs on the ground. Come up. Now all the way. Cross your toes with the down. Half that line. If you have it in you, even include your elbows. Go one, <laughs> two. Three, four, five. So I'm trying to create a nice torque, nice shoulder opening. So I'm just trying to break, break it in half. So spinning my pinky fingers into the eight, six, nine, <sighs> ten. Now stay on your back again, just some arms over your head, legs up. I'm gonna take the legs to the left and right. Not very easy move, believe it or not. So, arms over your head, legs to the left, come back up, lift the leg to the other side. Four, two. You need to keep the core active all the time. There should not be any rest at any point of this. Four, five, if your back is sore, just bend your knees. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. I'm going to come up all the way to both toes. Twist left, twist right. So then we're going to bring your knee to the chest, extend the leg forward, go on your back, come back off to the both toes, turn left, right, knees to chest, extension, and going down. Three. Four. We're going to do one more of these five, and then knees come to the chest two times from now on. One, two, and then go back. Go one, turn left, turn right, knee to chest, extension, and go. Two, knee to chest, knee to chest, and then go. Eight. Nine. Ten. Stay on your back again, legs up. Stay on your back, legs up. 
If the Tao reach for your toes, keep your head off the ground, shoulder off the ground, shoulder blade off the ground. Reach for your toes, reach, reach, reach. Now based on here, this is gonna be our foundation, it's gonna go up as high as you can toward your toes. Go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Good, stand up please. We're gonna use a lot of object over your head. And Keep the down over your head, please. Keep the down over your head. Open your arms as much as needed. Bring your armpit forward as the arm is active. So feeling of pushing the down toward the ceiling and breaking it in half exists. I'm gonna do a squat and come back up. Go one, two, three, four, Hold your toes as straight. Don't make room for your bum to go down now yet. So let the knee move in a natural way. Imagine you don't know legs away from each other. Five, six, lift the arch up. Seven, work on ankle mobility. Eight, nine, ten. Now we're gonna sit on the bottom of a squat. Now knees can go up, toes can point to the side, to the angle. Let's go to the bottom of the squat, down where your head, or my number come up, go back. And I'll meet you down there. Two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, two more, nine, ten. Gonna launch back, half halo, and then lean to the side, launching back. Gonna go. Yeah, go back. I drop my back knee to the mat for that. You don't have to. Same leg, go. Same leg, go down. Side. Come back up. Two. One more. Three. I'm going to switch side. Go on. Switch. Or you can step switch. Go. So take it down first on the first one. And then knee down, and then one. No, that's one time. Two, just come up and go to your side. And three, and switching leg again on the first one only. The first one we go down, come back up, knee down, lean to the side. Three times, go one, two, come up, and three. Nice. Switch leg, number four. Down, up, knee down, go. Two, three, two more, two more, two more. Come back up, go down, into the side, come back up, one more. Go other side. Keep the dot over your head. We're gonna go half lunge back, knee kick. Half lunge back, knee kick. So leg back basically, and then load the back leg. Request is load the back leg. Request was half lunge back, not just back leg back. Knee to the chest, and down the straight, and we're going one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight. You're still holding the down with purpose. Nine, ten. Nice other work. leg. Let's take it to the other leg. Go back. Two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. When the side lunge, when the side lunge down over your head, and gonna bend to the side. Side lunge. Yeah, I'll do this. Step. Bend to the left. Straight leg. Same side. Don't don't switch now. Same side. We're gonna go ten of those. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. I'm gonna switch side now. We'll go to the other side. Lunge nicely. Get ready. Lift yourself up, rib cage open. Talk your lower stomach in. First with your lower rib cage back. We talked about this in the earlier practice with it. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now we're gonna side to side switch it. One left, one right, side lunges while we're holding the dow over our head. So side lunges with the dow. Go as low as we can come back up. Now shift up, you go all the way to the other side. Don't switch your leg, just shift, just shift. Come back up and go other side down. Go. Two, three. Four. We don't rehearse this. This is pretty live, so. Five. Six. Seven. She doesn't know what comes after. Eight. Nine. I'm in the same boat as all of you guys. If she's running after me with a duck. <laughs> 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 yeah. Nine. You did you do 10? We did 10. 10, okay. We're gonna hold the dowel over our head, side lunge, toes on the other side, get off the ground. We're gonna work on the mobility part of the hips right now. It's a lot of work. Go as low as you can come back up. No, no bend, no side bend. Go two. Just go down, come back up. Close your legs enough, then you can actually handle it. Three. Four. Five, lift your toes off the ground. Six, get low. Eight, you gotta push your leg down to the ground in order to come back up now. <laughs> Nine, creating torque, lot of torque and lot of pointed direction basically. Power. Okay. Put it down, high plank pose. We're gonna use the dow, high plank pose. We're gonna use dow for our obstacle. We're gonna walk over it with our arms and legs and Jumping over it and all those jazz. High plank pose. We're gonna just walk over it with legs and arms for now. Ten. Go one. You know where we're going already. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. 10. Take a down dog now. Once one end of the dow, something that you guys probably hope never gonna see it again. We're gonna do bear walk from one side of the dow to the other side of the dow. You don't turn, come forward, come, 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 come. Now we go backwards, back to the other side, to the other side. Going up, 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 keep going. We're gonna go all around the all around the dow, all around the dow, circling. That's two. So we went to bear walks, eh? That's three. Going, going, I start number four. Let's go, Betty. Irene, let's go. Five, five to go still, five to go still. Two, 
six. Four to go. Seven. Eight, two more. That's even better than the length one. One more, one more, one more. Stand up again, hold it down. We're gonna go down after this. There's a block direction change. <laughs> hold it down over your head, please. Hold it down over your head. We're gonna do lunging back with your right leg, spread the squat two, knee kick two. Spread the squat two, knee kick two. Wall the down still over your head. Do not bring it down. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Switch leg, please. Set, go on, go one. Two. Three. Four. Five, six, stand up tall. We're gonna rotate the dot over our head and come back all the way again. See if we can do that. Rotate it. Just do a few of those more, a few more of those, and then we're gonna add to this. Possibly straight arms. Yeah. When the dial over in front of your stomach, we're going to bring it over our head in the scarecrow and over your head, and then we're going to squat down low. And then come back up, repeat that rotation again, rotate it again. We one left, one right. We go one left, one right, and then go all the way up and drop and over your head. You got it. Beautifully done. That's three. Two from the front. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Last one, 10. We're gonna bring our legs a little closer together down in front of you. We're gonna keep one arm, one arm down. Hold it down loosely, don't grab it. It's almost falling, it's almost falling. Now we're going for swimming here. We're going for swimming here and go and go and go. You can squat down the more. Gradually, we're gonna speed it up, speed it up, speed up. Try not to hold on to the dial too tight. You're not paddling at all. It's go. Now come up a little bit, a little bit and go. We're going for 30 seconds fast. Go. Go, 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 go. Keep going, keep going, keep going. 20 seconds to go. Five seconds to go. Come on. 
Come back up. Put the dial over your shoulder, palms on it, or arms on it. We're gonna bend our knee slightly, unlocking your knee to really hamstring glutes back. We're gonna go all the way to good morning pose and come back up. Go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 19, 20. Hold it down behind your shoulder. We're gonna push it up from there all the way and the squat down at the same time. So we're gonna push, press it up all the way and the squat down. Go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Looking good, Victoria. Eight, nine, ten, ten more. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 19 and 20. Sit on the boat pose, please. Sit on the boat pose. We want to just move. Russian twist one side only. Pick a side. I choose to go to the left side first. Ready? Go one. You can do whatever you want. Two, three, four. I'm still active on the dowel. Five, six. Remember why you're holding your dowel. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Other side, ten. Go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Back to high plank pose, down the ground. Only arms gonna, legs are stay on one side, arms going to the other side, and then coming back. Here you go. Legs, are stay. arm goes other side, and then come back. Here you go. Two, three, four, five. Leg other side of the down. We're going to do five other side of the down. Go one, two, three, four, five. We're adding a push up to that. We're adding a push up to that while you're in the anger. Push up, bend your elbows, squeeze the rib cage with your elbows. Go as low as you can according to that request. So don't just go down with the arms open, chicken wing get style. Get set. Go one. Nothing this side. Two, back to the other side. Three. Four. Five. And we go other side of the down, walking this side. Go one, two, three, four, five. Stand up again, hold the down over your head this time. This time. This 
We're going to launch forward, launch back, launch forward, launch back with one leg. And then we're going to do knee kick with your back leg. Now switching leg. And going launch forward, launch back, knee kick, switching leg. Three, launch forward, launch back, and switch leg. So it's not just switching leg then. When we talk about the long, we are speaking about the load, load on your back leg, load on your front leg. You're giving the uh, decent amount of steps too. Don't just move, don't just move your leg back and forth. You want a flow of energy from front leg to back leg, back leg to front leg, almost equally. Maybe a little more on your back leg. I lost my number, probably nine. Last one, 10. Sit on the ground again in both poses. From both poses to hollow pose, from both poses to hollow pose, to hollow rock. From both, both poses to hollow pose, to hollow rock. Three hollow rock, three hollow rock, both poses. We're gonna do Russian twist, left, right, and done. All around, one, two, and three, and go. This is number three. Number four. Number five. Number six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. To the dial down, Spider Man launch, and then deadlift. Spider-Man lunge as a nice deep twist sweat. We're going to do 10 of those. Go so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Then the request for a spread. Let's do the spread part then. You can put your back leg knee down and work on half split. Maybe center your leg a little bit more, don't have it too wide out. Feet flex towards you. Just make sure you're not rounding your spine. So there's a slight dip in the low back. You want to lift your bum bones up towards the ceiling and send your bottom breastbone forward. Not with neck extension. Get confused. Neck is long. Breastbone only is reaching through. Hands on the mat. Always create a torque. Biceps forward. If you're feeling like you want to try full split, you go for it. Still maintaining the length of the spine first. And as the spine has to lengthen before the limbs can. Why? Because the spine houses the nerve, the big mother, and the same fascia around the cord in the brain is the same fascia around the nerves in your peripheral body. So if the fascia in your cord is tight or your brain, then your limbs won't be able to stretch. Yes, Victoria. So spine long first, and then you can get some length in the limb. Ooh, keep on breathing. Switching side, please. Let's take it to the other side. Find your half split or your full split.
Yes. We're going to go for deadlift, guys. We will keep your band handy. You lift the heavy band. If you've got the thick band, you can fold it in half. If you've got the weak band, you can just pick the heavier one we have, black one. If you don't have anything, you should have something by now. <laughs> Ready. Putting it around the arches of my feet. Some weight would do it. 30 deadlifts. Go one. Make sure the bottom of the hamstring is active, not only the glutes. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Watch your shoulder. Sometimes they just come forward without knowing them. You need to pay attention to those. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, and 30. Grab your dowel again, please. Hold the dowel over your head. Three paws say to the squat, one jumping. So the jumping might happen here or not, because Kali hurts herself, but you do it. So, so squatting down low, three pulse. One, two, three, come up, one. One, two, three, two, one, two, three, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, five, one, two, three, six, one, two, Three, seven, one, two, three, eight, one, two, three, nine, one, two, three, ten, and we're going again back on the just stop a stretching. We're gonna keep one leg in front, one leg back, and you can reach with the doubt to create a balance. So my front foot is flexed, my heels on the mat. My back leg knee is slightly bent. And again, you want to stretch the hamstring. If you need to straighten your, or bend your front knee to get your spine to lengthen, you can use the dowel under the foot to pull the foot closer to you. Bum bones lifting back and up, tailbone reaching back, top of the head reaching forward. Just keep your hips square. And if you have a dowel, nice torque. Hold it and breathe. Hold it and breathe. Hold it and breathe. So breathing, the part holding and breathing is the one actually start working things there. Going in it and come out of it. Not so it's nothing, anything good going to come out of that. Come up, switch side. So bend your back leg a little slightly. Try not to give it too much angle. Your hips are still square forward as best as you can. Grab your band again for deadlift. We go in. You want to go heavier? It's about time to go heavier. Go one, two, three, four, five. Don't let your knees travel at first, huh? Your hips travel. So six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 
15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. We're going to use the Dow again, use the Dow again for hyperline post mountain climb, walk to the other side. We're going to do one push up and then bear crawl to the other side. And oh, you, you know all about it. Yep. Put the Dow down. We're going to do one side mountain climb at 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We're going to walk over the dow. We're going to do one push up. Now we're going to do bear crawl to the other side of the dow, wherever you have started it. And we're going to restart it again. Bear crawl, same place. Let's start the same place. High plank pose. And go again. Ten mountain climber. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Step over the dial. Walk over it with both arms and legs. And then back to the game. Bear walk to the other side. Keep on going. Push up. It's only one push up. Give quality to that one. Mountain climber helps slow moving as best as you can. Walk. This is our number three. Two more to go this side, and then we go to the other side. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Walk over it. One push up, and bear crawling all the way. This is our last one for this side. That's it. Go one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and walk over it. And we're gonna change direction. Go to high plank pose again in this side. High plank pose in this side. Ten mountain climber this side. One push up other side. And back crawl all the way. That's our number one. Four more to go. Keep on going, Laszlo. I'm watching you, man. <laughs> Keep going. You're holding it too long and too high, Vanessa. <laughs> the last one. One more, one more to go, one more to go. Wow, who would have thought that's gonna be so difficult? I did then. <laughs> As I sit there and drink my tea. <laughs> Nicely done. Very good. Back to deadlift again. Back to deadlift again. Same number, 30. That's number four there. We've got two more to go. Good thing the Dow can help us get up. <laughs> Ready. 30 deadlift. Nice and strong. So glutes hamstring back. Knees stay one place for coming up. Don't start the initial move from the knee. Hips come forward and go back. Shoulders active. Roll over up and reaching down and reaching back. Halfway to go. 
18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, and 30. Grab the dial one more time. We're gonna go back to both toes. Back to both toes again. Hold your both toes. Now we didn't but find the dial with the top, one side of it up, one side of it down. We're gonna bring it down, both knees to your chest, and extend your leg to one side, knees to chest, extend your leg to the other side. So knee to chest. Go one. Two, three, four. Squeeze your legs together. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Halfway to go. Sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 19, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, and 30. Oh my goodness. Grab your, grab your uh, weight for the deadlift, whichever you choose, resistant band or Go heavier. This is our last one. This is our last one. I'm going to double it up. Red and black. Going for 30. If you have your bag of peas, you can use those too. Then lift. When it's all go one. Two. Good thing about the band. A lot of things good about the band, actually. we talk about that later. Four. Five. Six. Seven, eight, nine. Keep your head down, darling. Don't lift your head up so badly. Ten, head down, chin. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Yeah, perfect. Sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. 20, 10 more, 10 more, 21, 22, perfect, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Back to the Tao again. We're going to do swimming thing. We need it. We're going for one minute of it. One minute of it as fast as we can. You're probably going to cheat half the way through. Try to continue to go. Don't stop it. Get set. Go. One minute. Go. Yeah, yeah. Look. Keep going. Going. Moving, Kelly, let's go. Speed it up. Halfway to go. Speed it up, speed it up, speed it up. Ten seconds, ten seconds to go. Nice, Irene. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. And done. Low plank pose hold. Low plank pose hold. I'm going to hold it for two minutes. It's the last thing we do, guys. Two minutes hold and then yoga. That's it. Low plank pose hold. And I don't see all of you guys gone, disappeared. <laughs> Oh.
Holden, Holden, Holden. Bomb lower, bomb lower. Hips lower, Barry. Stomach must have engaged better. Looking good, looking good. Hold it. One minute, guys, one minute. Time flies. Holding, holding, Jan, holding, holding, holding. Thirty seconds. Can you last ten seconds longer? And that's it, guys. That's it. Put yourselves together for yoga again. Get up from child pose. Sit on your heels, heels together, knees together if you have it in you. Extend your arm forward. Coming up all the way to on all four and then we go all the way to cat quickly. And then back to child pose after you're done with the cat. Repeating that a few more times. And down again. Come back up to all, on all four. Find your left arm. Throw it all the way under your right, uh, under the other arm. Let it go. Let the shoulder sit on the ground. Open the other arm. See if we can. Keep your hips squared onto the ground. You don't have to turn and twist to just go deeper into it. Come back up on all four again, please. Stick it to the other side. So keep focus on the hips are squared down to the ground and then arms up and reaching. If you don't have that much arm mobility, shoulder mobility, put your hand on your hips. That'd be easing off your that whatever pain or extra tension you have there. Come back up on all four again, please. Left leg reach back, right arm reach forward. You're just going to hold it there. That's our pose, hold it. Keep on breathing. Breathe through your nose. Bring your arm to your side, leg to your side. Hold it there. Don't let your arm go back. Keep it to the side. Don't let your heel drop. Hold the heel in line with the hair bone. You don't have to bend knee if you have it in you. Back to the center. Down on the ground. Go other arm, other leg. So 30 seconds hold. I'll time you. You just breathe there. Try to avoid movement or motion or wiggling. Just breathe. Don't try to make workout out of it. Be done with that part. 
arm to your side, leg to your side. It's a breathing practice in difficult moment. That's all it is. Back to your center again, down on the ground. Take a downward facing dog. With your left hand, grab your right leg heel or calf muscle or restore that. Hold your spine straight. Back on the ground. Go other side. So hook your hand nicely to your leg, leg and knee straight, shoulders away, spine getting twisted. Back to this. Go all the way on your stomach, please. Go all the way on your stomach. Bend your knees, grab your shin. You got it? I'm good. Shoulders active before we go anywhere and kick back with your legs. Yeah. Lift yourself up slowly. See if you can be on your headphone only. And I'm breathing. Hold it, hold it, 10 seconds longer, hold it. Keep on breathing, keep on breathing. You're gonna slowly come out of it, come out of it. Don't just let go of it. Go on your stomach, palms on the ground, pinky touching each other. You wanna keep legs off the ground one at a time. Bringing so, my arms under my torso, chin on the floor to start. Wanna keep one leg off the ground. You choose your right leg probably is a better one, but you can do whatever. Try to keep your hip bone on your forearm, just lifting the leg. Left leg is relaxed. Question comes, are you breathing? Down on the ground, you want to lift the other leg up. If you are breathing, where's your attention? Down on the ground. You want to try to lift both legs off the ground, see if you have it. Bring your forehead down first. Down on the ground, release your arms. Roll on your back, please. Roll on your back since you're already there rather than do anything. I was going to say, take it down, dog. It didn't look like it. Roll on your back, knees to your chest. It's the last pose we do. Keep your whole spine on the ground if you have it. Your whole top of your head on the ground, your tailbone as much as you can on the ground. Chin and forehead in at once. Neck is long. Let go of your right leg. Let us sit on the ground. Let go of your left leg. Allow it to sit on the ground. Arms over your head. With your fingers, reach back. With your toes, reach forward. 
And let's go. One more time. Reach deep. And let's go over the game. Last one, last one. Super duper deep. Go. Reach. And let's go over the game. I'm done for now. You guys can stay there for 10 minutes of meditation or whatever you want to do there. Thanks, guys. Don't forget to subscribe and give us a thumbs up. What's the other one? Go ring the bell and make comments.